Happy Valentine's everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm sharing Valentine's outfits for different aesthetics. I thought this would be fun to make after being inspired by all the trends on TikTok, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. Our first Valentine's aesthetic is cottage core. I wanted to start out with this one because it is my favorite aesthetic. If you know me, then you know that I love all things cottage core, from flowers to anything that makes me feel like I'm in a fairy tale. So I really loved putting this look together. For this look, I went with my white puff sleeve dress from House of CB, which I was super lucky to have found secondhand on Depop. To make it extra cottage core like, I figured it needed a bow, so I decided to tie a black present bow around my waist. For accessories, I wanted to go with a more classic look, so I decided to add some pearls to this outfit. And for shoes, I decided to pair my white sheer ruffle socks with some black pumps. For this look, I imagined someone to be in a long committed relationship and they're probably super lovey-dovey and have been together for like a few years already or engaged. The next outfit aesthetic is Y2K. This was honestly the hardest look for me to do just because I don't really own many things in this style, but it was a fun challenge for me. I imagine this girl to be going on a Galentine's Day. She's single, she just wants to have fun. For this aesthetic, I decided to pair my red lace bra me with my patch denim skirt. And to top it off, I wore my Japanese Playboy construction belt. And what Y2K look isn't complete with a pair of edgy sunglasses? The next aesthetic is minimalist. This is definitely one that I closely align with because of sustainability, but I'm definitely not perfect at it. I envision this Valentine's lover to be settled down with kids. He or she is probably doing arts and crafts with them, making a nice home-cooked meal, or just spending time with family. And they're sipping on tea, hot chocolate, or wine for the rest of the night. Maybe even drawing a bath. For this look, I decided to pair my red satin button-up blouse that I thrifted with a pair of black trousers. To style the top, I tucked it into my black trousers and added a belt on top. I know I said this person wasn't going out, but if they were, they'd probably take a black clutch with them. And to complete this look, I just wore a simple pair of gold huggies and a classic gold herringbone necklace. The next aesthetic is glam. Honestly, if I'm going on a Valentine's Day date night, this is just the look I would imagine someone wearing. For this outfit, I wore my red satin dress that I literally thrifted for $2 and paired it with my faux fur vest. To add some bling, I added some dangling diamond earrings and paired it with a dotted diamond choker. And of course I used my black clutch. For this look, I imagine a sugar baby. This lifestyle's not really for me, but if it's for you, more power to you. This person is the main character and has everyone's attention. You either love them or you're jealous of them. Now keep in mind, these character descriptions are literally just for my imagination, and these aesthetics can go for anyone no matter what stage you are in your life. And our last aesthetic for the day is 90s vintage. For this look, I tucked in my husband's ACDC band tee into my plaid pleated skirt, which I layered on top of my black turtleneck bodysuit for extra warm. But granted, this outfit is probably not warm enough for some places in America right now. I also put on these round red sunglasses for a pop of color and a little bit of edge. And to top it all off, I wore my favorite pair of dagger earrings and some classic Doc Martin boots. For this person, I imagine them to absolutely hate Valentine's Day. Maybe they just went through a breakup, hate boys, or just hate PDA. If you guys made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. You are absolutely amazing. 
go ahead and comment down below which outfit and aesthetic was your guys' favorite. I think my favorite part of the video though was probably when Vlad threw money at me because who doesn't like having money thrown at them? I will be making videos every single month and I like to make content around fashion, styling tips, and how to live a more eco-friendly lifestyle. So if you are into that, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button and I will see you guys again. Thanks for watching. Bye. You're welcome.